Hi guys, it's Jessica Hayes. Today for you I have the Complete Colourpop Ultra Matte Liquid Lipsticks Collection. This collection was a total pain in the ass to get, but now that I have it, I'm so glad that I do. It took me almost four and a half hours clicking the refresh button on the internet of the night that they launched. And finally, I have them in my hands. So I have had a chance to wear a few of these and see how they last on the lips. But if you keep watching, I will be doing a full lip swatch review of every single color for you. Just so you can see the opacity of the color when it goes onto the lips. And if you keep watching at the end, I will be giving it a little review on the wearability of the product and also the colors that I like the best. So the first color I'm going to start out with is Vice. I'll also be using the Smith 302 brush to put a few of them on. I will be using applicators with some of them, but these are going to be going in my kit, so I just want to be hygienic with my application. So this one, Vice, is the lightest color in the collection. I do think this would be a lot more flattering on the skin with a slightly darker lip line, but I just wanted to leave these straight up without lip liner underneath so that you can see the true color. This next color is Midi. This color midi is very similar to Anastasia Pure Hollywood. This next color is shimmy. This is actually a really great wearable bridal kind of light pink which I haven't really found too many of these in a liquid lipstick formula yet. This next one, Trap, is definitely one of my favorites. This one's a pretty solid dupe for Lime Crime Cashmere. This next one is Solo. Or is it so low? I don't know. Ah. This next color, Bumble, is one of my favorite colors from the collection. This color kind of reminds me of Latte Confession from LA Splash or maybe Riot Girl from Live Crime. This next one is Seesaw. This next this next one is first base. Excuse me, but I don't mean to be room. I just want to know if you this next one is donut. If so, let's turn this party high. We can dance in the sun. Now moving on to the brighter shades, this one is Buds. Ooh, bright. This next color is the cutest color and this is Koala. Does it roll it to a tide on my new way could be is free. So lady, let me take you 
This next color is Sunday. This next color is Mars. This one's a very pinky raspberry red. This next color is Highball. Now into my favorite shades, the purples. This is Drive In. And that's to break light, and it takes ties, and I'm on this color is really similar to Lime Crime Utopia and LA Splash Hidden Desires. This next color is lychee. This next one is zipper. This next one, Chill, is one of my favorites. Getting into those warmer shades, this one is Pacific. This one, color-wise, is very similar to Melt Bang Bang, but it is very streaky when you put it on and takes a lot of layers to get a good opaque coloring. This next color is Ouija. This next one is Creeper. This is a great true red and I really like how this one applies. This next one is Succulent. Succulent is a really good orangey red and I feel like it's really similar to Bloodline from Anastasia. This next one is Limbo. Another color I was super excited about, Avenue. This one is pretty similar to Lime Crime's Wicked. Last but certainly not least, LAX.
Well guys, I hope that was actually helpful for you to see the swatches of the colors and the opacity of the colors when they actually go onto the lips. For me, that was my very first time swatching a lot of those colors. The only ones that I got to wear before I filmed this was Bumble, Chul, and Koala. I ate while I was wearing Bumble and Chul. It actually did come off a little bit in the center of the lips. Which is, you know, that will happen with any kind of uh, lipstick that you wear. On a scale of liquid lipsticks, they're probably not the longest wearing out of all of the li liquid lipsticks that I own. Um, and I do have quite a few different brands of the liquid lipsticks. The best thing about them though is that they aren't a super thick consistency. So if they do wear away from the inside of the lips, I did reapply on the inside and it didn't get chunky or brittle or kind of like crumble away. While they do wear off a little bit, they're not a total pain in the ass to reapply them. Obviously my favorites in the collection were Bumble, Chul, I really liked Limbo and how it went on. Uh, LAX, I was really actually surprised about that went on beautifully. That is the color that I have on right now. And I feel like you can truly, you know, get a grasp of how good a liquid lipstick is by the darkest color and how well in opacity it applies. A few of the colors that I was let down by was Vice. I feel like this applied really weird. Uh, it was a little streaky, almost chalky. I did have to do quite a few layers of that to pop that one on. So I would probably give that a miss. Uh, zipper, for some reason, might just be my batch that I got. But this one was really watery and kind of applied really streaky as well. And same with Pacific. So all of these ones I ended up, you know, doing about three layers to get a proper opacity of color. And that's ultimately not a great thing to do when you're wearing liquid lipsticks because that's when they do start to feel really dry and kind of cracky on the lips. So all in all, I am super happy with the ColourPop Ultra Matte Liquid Lips. They are an absolute bargain for the price of $6. Uh, the color range is great. I would have loved to see some you know, maybe some weird colors in the range, like some greens or some blues or just some different colors, but um, I'm sure ColourPop will be bringing some more shades out because this was definitely a huge success for them, seeing as, you know, they pretty much broke the internet with lipsticks. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this review and lip swatch. And like always, if you have any questions at all, make sure you comment them below and make sure you subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye.